Hey guys, today is going to be a magical day. I'm super excited. Um, I have a fresh new batch of cloud mix prepared. I have some Liquitex basics in magenta, blue and turquoise, and I have an idea. I'm gonna be filling up my 36 by 24 inch canvas with black paint, and I'm gonna be pouring in a fun way. And my goal today is to not move around the canvas. Okay, I got this. I'm gonna finish painting the sides. I'm gonna put my camera up for you and I am going for this. How about I start here? Now this is going to be a little bit whimsical. It's not going to be a round cloud. Seems to be a lump there. I'm a tweezer that out. Now, I know I have to just let it go. It's so hard. Okay. It's just that there's like, you know, you guys know what I'm seeing there, right? It's like, okay, let me think this through. So I go in it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Loving that. I'm just going to leave it like that, you guys. Check out the madness. So it's been one hour. And I have to go. I can't leave my camera on more. I find this absolutely gorgeous. I have a feeling it's going to still continue spreading though. But I think there's enough black around it that if it spreads it still has a chance to look good although this one is near the edge up there too but i'm so happy i have black color black color Now, one thing I know about the Liquitex basics is that they dry very, very, very dark. And that's probably why 
they go so well with the cloud mix that's so powerful but i think that that reddish magenta paint line is there the one that's next to the black that might dry a very dark but i mean <laughs> the overall look is crazy and i also i find it very cool that the center looks like it does without having being moved I'm gonna try and go in show you the detail here it looks like a worm I'm not sure which side it's going to go yet, but anywho, stay tuned for the dried result. Back with the dried result. I didn't varnish it yet. It's really, really interesting. The cloud effect on that black background. I find it looks like it belongs somewhere in the universe. That little shine you see in the black is from the pouring medium. And that line did dry darker. But you know what guys, not because the painting dried like that, that it has to stay like that, you know? I'm gonna use my brush and I think I'm just gonna go and paint in some of that magenta color right on top. There's some black that came through a little bit in the middle, like there. But it didn't spread much more. And I think my favorite part is actually the blue line around it. I learned a lot from this try. I'm going to try again for sure. Of course, what's important is the overall look. I'm really loving it. I'm in this angle because of the reflection of the light, just so you can see the painting better. Hope you guys are as intrigued by the cloud mix and my experiments as I am. Have a good one.